Commonwealth Bank continues to look strong here. Notice how all the dips have been bought. This is actually the most severe dip, but having said that, in the bigger scheme of things, not a serious decline. And obviously, since that time, again, we've seen buyers stepping up to the plate. And more importantly, this movement higher, certainly looking impulsive in nature. So remember, during our last review, there was a case for suggesting that we were going to see a flat correction from these highs. So A, B, and a wave C. And although that's still feasible, I just want to put a slightly more bullish interpretation forward here. And that's really because of the strong movement high from these lows. It certainly isn't indicative of a corrective pattern. And as such, it does keep the door open for the more bullish case to take hold sooner than originally anticipated. So in regard to our wave count, bigger picture, nothing changes. So undoubtedly, a strong movement high just commences with three to the left of the chart. So there's wave three. From that juncture, we have seen what's known as an expanded flat. That's where wave B probes above the prime pivot high by a small margin. And wave C probes beneath the low of wave A, also by a small margin. And this is the impulsive movement high from that point forward. So wave one, two, up into the wave three. Quite a deep zigzag down into wave four. Certainly not ideal. But very importantly, this prior pivot high, the high of wave one, has not been penetrated. One of only three Elliott rules states that wave four can never enter the price territory of wave one. So that's our make or break point right there. If we do rotate beneath that level, then certainly this wave count is incorrect. And then we go back to the um, analysis put forward last time in expecting that ABC correction of flat pattern. So A, B and the wave C it wouldn't make a great deal of difference. Bigger picture, it would still portend to high prices. Once we tag these prior pivot lows and see buyers once again stepping up to the plate. So our medium term target, or should I say a short term target now, is this wave equality projection actually derived off the weekly chart. Obviously not shown here. Very importantly though, if this level is overcome, then we'd expect wave 5, the larger degree wave 5, to travel 1.618 times length of wave 1 which actually gives us a target around the $100 region. So obviously much further down the track and really much will depend on what happens if and when this wave equality projection is tagged break up through there, then certainly that longer term bullish case is certainly front and center. So if you are looking for a short term trade, you could use our SAR indicator shown here at 74.35. Really, I'd like to see um, a minor pivot low made before that level is overcome at this juncture realistically would have to have the trailing stop or the initial stop should I say just beneath the low of wave 4 so if we can make a subsequent um, minor degree low point then certainly it would increase the risk reward don't forget that there is the potential to see some rejection around this wave of quality projection but I think in actual fact the risk is to the upside a very strong stock over the longer term and there's no reason if this um, $79, $80 region can't be overcome, then we can't attain that $100 target over the months and possibly even years ahead. So still looking good. This is the trigger point if you're looking for a trade. I'm not going to make a formal recommendation. Really, that's just based on this wave equality projection not being too far above current levels. But certainly for nimble traders, a setup is available.